According to the state's Labor Department, about 6,200 Michiganders have been laid off in 2024. The auto industry alone has seen thousands of layoffs as the industry shifts to electric vehicles. And for many, unemployment brings on stress about their economic future. Here with more on the impact of layoffs and tips for getting through a job loss is financial instructor Michael Mazaret with the Retirement Education Foundation. So Michael, what's the first thing people should do if they're laid off? Sure, so the first thing people have to do is take stock of their financial picture. Did, do we have three to six months of savings on hand? Are there, is there spending we can cut? Really it comes down to how prepared were you for this ahead of time? And that's why trying to prepare ahead of time is so important. Really that three to six months of savings, that's the first place we should be dipping into if we do get laid off because that will hopefully float us while we're looking for our next employment, our next source of income. The second thing we can do is start to look at cutting expenses. Are we spending a lot of th money on things that we can start to cut in the next three to six months while we're looking for that, uh, while we're looking for the next job? But as the time goes on and you can't, if you can't find work quickly, that savings starts to deplete. What do you do in that situation? That's when things start to get tricky. If the savings starts to deplete and we still haven't found that next job yet, or we don't, we don't have you know, opportunities on the horizon yet, that's when we have to start looking at alternative sources of income. Number one, people should be looking to apply for unemployment as soon as they receive that layoff notice. Unemployment is in Michigan roughly $362 per week, and that'll help try to keep ends meeting while we're looking for that next job. The second place that we can start to look to aside from the emergency fund is non-retirement accounts if we have those. The last place we want to look at is retirement accounts if we have to. That can start to get a little tricky. If you're below the age of 59 and a half, there can be penalties for pulling money out of that account earlier. So you want to be careful about that. Ah, okay. But for some people, losing a job, it can be embarrassing in addition to the stress they're mm -hmm. dealing with. How do they navigate that time? Really, trying to recognize that this happens to everybody at some point or another in their lives. And not to let it embarrass you, but sort of use it as you know, a challenge to f find the next chapter of life. Because if we, if we let that embarrassment hold us back, it will just compound the difficulties. So when it comes to paying off debt, because if we get laid off, the bills don't go away. Mm -hmm. How they do don't. you manage paying for those bills that you still have and paying off debt in general? Sure. And again, this is why it's so important to try to plan for these things as best as possible ahead of time. Because some people will start to spend more and more and more because they feel comfortable with their job and they might start dipping into credit card debt. And they might think, you know, I know, credit, I know it's not great to have credit card debt, but I have my job, I have my income, I'll get it paid off in the next year or two or three. Well, that's not always the case. If we lose our job and we have that credit card debt, this can get, start to get really expensive. So if we do have credit card debt and we do get laid off, one of the first things people can do is start to call their credit card companies to ask to see if there's any deferral plans or payment plans. So, because credit card companies can work with people to help structure the, the, the debt and the loans to help them pay it off easier. So it's kind of an ask and you might receive. Exactly. That you're, not, you're not guaranteed to get a break, but it can't hurt to ask. Yeah, and so there have been so many company-wide layoffs that we know across the country. If someone is having a difficult time finding that next job, would you advise taking maybe a temporary position or something they can do just to supplement income? Absolutely, and that's what, you know, some people think that if a job's beneath them, they might not do it. But really, if when push comes to shove, we've got to have some income coming in to at least be a stopgap temporarily until we find that next job that might be part of your career going forward. And Michael, if people want more information, they might want to connect with you, get some advice for, from you. How can they do that? So we have resources online at retirementplanningedu.org. We have um, you know, webinars and white papers and online quizzes and calculators where people can test and reinforce their financial literacy. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, Michael. Of course.